The World Rugby Awards have come and gone, but the debates and controversies they've sparked are far from over. One of South Africa's most respected voices in the game, Springboks legend Victor Matfield, has come out swinging with some pointed criticism of how the awards were handled. From questioning the prominence given to Sevens Rugby over 15, to the glaring absence of props like Ox Encher from the Player of the Year shortlist, Matfield didn't hold back. Victor Matfield, who was part of the World Rugby Awards selection panel, has expressed his shock and frustration at how the awards night unfolded. Traditionally, the men's 15 player of the year is the grand finale, but this time the spotlight shifted to sevens, with Antoine Dupont being named men's sevens player of the year in the last award of the night. I was on the selection committee and we selected the men's player of the year. We selected the team, we selected the women's player of the year, Matfield said on Supersport's final whistle show. Normally, the 15 player of the year is the main trophy and that is the last trophy. All of a sudden, it was almost more about the sevens. The last trophy of the night was the sevens player of the year, which was Antoine Dupont. It's never been like that, so they changed all of that around. The decision left many fans scratching their heads, especially with the 15 game being the flagship format that drives global rugby interest and revenue. Matfield didn't mince words, suggesting that world rugby's priorities seemed skewed. Also, there was a lot of push at this event for women's rugby, which I think is really good, and the sevens game, but 15 is still the main event. That's the thing that brings in all the money, but Matfield wasn't done there. He turned his attention to another controversial decision, the award for coach of the year. While France's Jerome Darrett was honoured, Springbok fans and Matfield himself believe Rassi Erasmus was the obvious choice. All of a sudden, this French guy wins this trophy, he said. If you look at the World Cup, that's still the big focus in world rugby. So for Rassi not to win this, the record he has this year, what he's done with his team, if the French team won the series as well, different story, but they didn't win the series, Argentina won it. They only won the Olympics, so I think it's a bit tough on Rassi. Matfield even floated a theory that Northern Hemisphere politics might have played a role. For me, maybe they wanted the Northern Hemisphere to win something and to get a little bit of acknowledgement. One of the most heated topics Matfield touched on was the continued exclusion of props from the Player of the Year shortlist. For him, Ox Encher's absence is nothing short of an outrage, especially given the loose head props' pivotal role in the Springboks World Cup success and their dominance this year. There has never been a prop forward nominated for Player of the Year. If we look at the World Cup last year, Ox won that World Cup, Matfield argued. Andre did well. Peter Steff was brilliant, but Ox won that World Cup for us with his scrummaging. He should have been there. Even this year, I think he should have been nominated. He went on to highlight how props, who perform the dark arts of the scrum and do much of the unseen work, rarely get the accolades they deserve. Those prop forwards doing the hard work, the dark arts, I think they should get more accolades. Matfield's comments have sparked a firestorm of debate. Are the awards becoming more about politics and optics than genuine recognition? And why is it that certain positions like prop forwards seem to be perpetually overlooked? For South African fans, these perceived snubs feel like a slap in the face, especially after a year where the Springboks dominated the rugby landscape, winning the rugby championship, going unbeaten on their Northern Hemisphere tour, and claiming numerous individual honours. So, what do you make of Victor Matfield's comments? Is he right to call out World Rugby for their choices? Or are these just the usual post-awards gripes? And what about Oxenture? Should props finally get the recognition they deserve in the Player of the Year discussions? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Green and Gold Army News for all the latest updates, debates and behind the scenes stories.